G'day guys, Greg here. Now it's product review time and today I'm going to be reviewing this product right here. Darlington Farms Sources. Now Darlington Farms is a Gold Coast company so that's really good just down the road. Well I didn't mind it when they said they wanted to send me some to do a review on because I already use one of their sources all the time and <laughs> it's one of my favourites as you can see. I like to use it on, well, pretty much anything because it tastes really good. But one of the things I do love as a snack is by pouring it on a piece of plastic cheese. It's one of my guilty pleasures. So that's how I thought I would test these sauces today by doing the old cheese test on them. The cheese will add some nice creaminess and give me a good idea of how well these sauces go with other things. Okay. Oh, well, that's a decent size. 625 grams. Yum. So today I've got some classic barbecue sauce, a habanero hot sauce, a signature hot sauce, and they've also got a pickle hot sauce. Oh. Right, where's that cheese? It's time to start trying this. I think I'll start with the sweet, then go the mild and work my way up to the hot. All right, well, I've gone and taken all the plastic seals and everything off first. Well, let's have a smell of this. Mmm, it's got a really nice, rich, sweet sort of smell. Oh, really classic barbecue smell. Oh, yum. Okay. See how thick it is. Well, yeah, pretty thick there. Mmm. Oh, boy. It's sort of actually got a mild barbecue flavour, this one. It's not as strong as some of those other sauces. It's a little bit uh, more mild, maybe less sweet. It doesn't seem to have any like bourbony sort of tastes or anything like that. Anyway, how's a cheese test going to go? Ooh. <laughs> It actually went all right, it was pretty good. I reckon this on a hamburger will be really tasty and I can't wait to make a hamburger and shove some of this on. It's not a strong tasting barbecue sauce, but it's got a really nice, easy flavor about it. All right, well, let's try the pickle hot sauce. In mild. Oh, it's got definite chunks there that are coming out. It's got a relishy look about it. Definitely get the taste of pickles in that. And it tastes great. This would be good on a burger, I reckon. But uh, that mild, <laughs> it's pretty hot for a mild, I tell ya. It's not too sweet again, like that barbecue sauce. This one's not as sweet as that one. Let me put some more on. More on. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Not too bad. Once again, not as strong or as sweet as some of the other brands that you might get. It's kind of a mildy sort of taste, but it does have some kick to it. All right, well, it's time to try my favorite one. This is the one I pour on pretty much everything. So this one's quite runny. Mmm, there's just something about this one that I really like. It is mild. It seems to be more mild than the other one. But this is one of my favorite cheese snack sauces. Mmm. I really like this one. It's not too hot. Again, it's not too sweet. It's just got this really nice casual flavor about it, which I really like. My taste buds are ready to try the habanero hot sauce. I can't wait to see how hot this one is. Once again, fairly runny. Doesn't look too hot. Mmm. Oh. Oops. 
I think I might be converting to this one from the other one. Funnily enough, well, I was going to say it doesn't seem as hot as the other ones, but now that it's kicking in, it does have some good heat. It's probably that perfect sort of heat when you're looking for a hot sauce, but it's not overpoweringly hot. But it certainly does have a kick and my eyes are watering. Mm. And when you mix it in with something creamy like cheese, it just sort of takes, you know, that real heat away. And mm, that's pretty good. They seem to be less sugary, less sweet and less potent than some of the other sauces. Some of the other ones can be quite strong and sweet and thick and gooey. But these ones must have less sugar in it or something because they're a little bit runnier with some really nice flavours. And if you want to support some local businesses, then it's definitely worth giving a go and, well, to see what you think. Well, there you go, Darlington Farms. They don't seem to be as sickly sweet or as sugary as some of the other sauces. They seem to be a little bit more mild in flavour. But when it says hot, it's not overly hot. I reckon it's just right. Anyway, I hope this helps you decide which sauces to buy and which ones to maybe avoid. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I try some sauces. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen where the reviews are